if it is something that it will help you get your day-to-day -day work done, then whatever it is that you use is assistive technology. It covers a lot of different things. Hi, my name is Saad. I'm from Savage Garden, a partner of Make It Ed Libraries and the co-founder of MIT Sundays. I'm here today to answer a few questions about MIT Sundays. Let's get started. What is MIT Sundays? This is an excellent question. MIT Sundays is an initiative between Savage Garden and Make It Ed Libraries, started at Make It Ed Pongol, and it is an effort to try and bring maker skills closer to persons with disabilities and to do something meaningful with the tech skills that you have. Learning new skills is an excellent way of matching learning with doing good. And that's what MIT Sundays is all about. We run at the Pongol Regional Library every Sunday from 12 noon to 3 p.m. What is assistive technology? Most people think that assistive technology is something complicated, artificial intelligence, or whatever the buzzword is that people like to talk about, like ChatGPT. But assistive technology could be something very simple that we take for granted. A pair of glasses could be assistive technology that is assisting you in doing what you do. What we like to do is use the more analog way of looking at assistive technology and applying it to solving a daily need and we like to try and apply 3D printing to make these custom devices. It can be as simple as just doing a custom-made pen holder. There are a lot of conditions where children have weakness in the fingers. The intention with the 3D printing is to offer something that helps with that. So the way this works is that two fingers go in and whatever pen you're comfortable with goes into the back and then you're able to reuse the pen in this manner. Depending on the size of the fingers or how many fingers need to go in, we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, we can make it skinnier. All of these are very easy to do with 3D printing. Is it easy for interested parties to create assistive technology? Yes, it is definitely easy. But again, it, easy is a relative term. And if you are a person with disabilities, then even something as seemingly simple can be quite challenging. A good example is if you're using a computer, and a lot of people are stuck at home these days, there's a thing called a key guard. It's a bit like a keyboard with lots of holes in it, and it sits on top of a keyboard to cover the gaps between the keys. I have another one which was uh, laser cut at the makerspace of the library and it sits between the keys. And this was designed for somebody who has Parkinson's, who doesn't have uh, stability in his hands. It helps him rest his hand and press the keys deliberately. So this is a very good example of something you can make very easily. You could use a 3D printer or you could use a laser cutter. Both of these things are available at the Make It at Library Makerspaces. What can potential attendees expect from MIT Sundays? So with MIT Sundays, we want to bring the Makerspace experience closer to anybody who's interested and you want to find other alternatives to what is available in the assistive marketplace then make it at Sundays is perfect so you get to ask questions you look at existing ideas and you get to talk about what you think might work what might not work and also try some things out so you have an environment in which all of these tools and examples are available and you've got somebody who has tried out a number of things in the past what makes MIT Sundays unique from other maker workshops? Well, the fact that it is at uh, Make It at Pongo, at this beautiful new library, it is designed for accessibility. So it is an inclusive space, and I think that it is perfect for working on problems that are expressed by persons with disabilities for sort of co cooperative, collaborative, co-creation kind of environment. But you can come in if you are a person with disabilities. You'll be able to um, access the space without any barriers. I think the environment that we're in is very unique. Will attendees be able to use different fabrication technologies for their creations? Yes. The advantage of being in a makerspace is that you have access to uh, a different set of tools and machines. When you're trying to solve a problem, uh, it often helps to have different kinds of things that you can see which one works best. And you'll see this in a lot of our assistive device creations. This is a really good example. It is a prosthetic that is designed in a way that makes it lightweight and 3D printable. 
but it requires a little bit of creative thinking because when you print something in plastic, it tends to be very smooth and slippery. The prosthetic would fit where the amputation was and everybody has a different amputation, so it has to be custom made. And that's where I think 3D printing is brilliant. And you'll see here that this has a glove on it and the glove is removable. And underneath the glove, you'll see a lot of tape and some silicone padding on top of the, the printed plastic. So it, it helps with the grip. And the glove goes on top to provide the grip that a thing needs. You've got the friction, so when you close the, the hand, the thing that you're holding on to uh, will not slip out. Having exposure to different tools uh, really does help in this kind of problem solving. Do I need prior experience to attend MIT Sundays? No, you don't. No prior experiences are necessary. Like the library, it is an open and inclusive space. With maker spaces, some people feel a little bit scared because there's a lot of machines and people who know how to use these machines. Uh, but the intention with MIT Sundays is to try and bring 3D printers and 3D printing closer to people who need it the most. If you have existing skills, that's more than useful because we can put you in touch with the need and you can start working on a meaningful project straight away. Thank you everyone for your questions. For more information, check out the links below. And I hope to see you soon at MIT Sundays. Thanks, bye.